In one of my previous video, I did mention that if you guys are really interested in finding a job abroad, do comment uh, about it. Um, and then you guys showed a lot of interest and here's a video about it. In this video, I'm going to more talk about uh, my experience on finding a job um, and everything. So I actually started to uh, you know, look out for a job in this year, January, and uh, by end of the May, I had about four to five offers from different companies in different countries. And you know, I was so happy, but in the end, I was, you know, I'm supposed to pick only one offer, and I took the offer which is in Berlin right now, um, Berlin, and then I joined in here uh, you know, a couple of weeks back, and I was, you know, busy searching house uh, to stay and everything. Uh, so as of now, I'm in Berlin. Um, I'm you know, working for a company here, and I'm really happy about it. Um, so in this video, I'm going to talk about little uh, you know, tips and tricks about how to get better chances in finding a job uh, you know, abroad and everything. So this is definitely more about my experience. And there could be a lot of different possibilities as well, but I hope my experience will help you guys to uh, find a job uh, you know, somewhere uh, in the country uh, which you like. And it's uh, really funny because some people get chance you know, out of the blue. like. They don't. They, they were not even expecting, and then they were able to move abroad and work there, experience different culture, different you know country environment altogether, uh, etc. But uh, some people, even though desperately want to get a job offer outside, but they were not able to. It's it's all purely I I don't know. It's luck, or you know being at right time, right place, or right company or such. But what my understanding is, even I didn't have a luck because. In my nine years of career, I was not able to get a chance to move anywhere apart from the short time, you know, business trips. So yeah, first I'll, I'm going to talk about a uh, different process. Okay, uh, as of now, the good bet is, you know, finding a job in Germany is a lot easier than finding a job in US or Australia or Canada. So I'm going to break this video into three different, you know, subsections. Basically, I'm going to talk more about Europe how to find a job in Europe and how to find a job in US and Australia and Canada, something like that. Um, so this is purely based on my understanding and my experience. The simple strategy is if you don't want to really struggle or prepare for interviews and then uh, apply here and there and then keep on giving interviews until you find an opportunity, the easiest way is to join a service-based company, say for example, Infosys with Pro and TCS, and then join a project which is mostly the clients are in Europe or some other countries. The higher chances are that you might get, uh, you know, you might get a chance to go there and work. I mean, that is one simple strategy, but that is purely based on luck. But if you really want to find a job for yourself, the simple trick is you have to apply for jobs. There are so many different portals where you can apply for job. The first one is Stack Overflow Jobs. This is where uh, you know real magic happens because there are a lot of job listings here in which they specifically mention that whether they are going to sponsor visa for you guys or not. Most likely the jobs which I have seen here are mostly visa sponsored jobs. And here you can mostly find a lot of jobs for you know, European countries, most likely Berlin and Dubai and um, you know, a couple of other countries. But I was able to see a lot of uh, jobs which are for Germany basically. Uh, here they definitely uh, sponsor visa for you guys. You, all you have to do is apply and wait for them to reply. Um, meanwhile, you can always keep preparing for interview. The second portal is LinkedIn Jobs. This is a very good place to find a jobs who sponsor visa. But the only problem here is they don't explicitly mention whether they're going to sponsor visa or not, but some profiles do mention that, but some doesn't. But what you guys can do is you have to keep applying for all of the relevant position you see in the LinkedIn Jobs. All you have to do is search for your profile and the place you are looking for, and then keep applying for every uh, every job posting. And there are other tricks as well, and how you can optimize your resume and uh, cover letter and everything. I'm going to talk about uh, talk about talk more about that. How you can um, increase the chances of getting picked uh, by the HR. 
uh, in the end, okay. So, so the next portal is Jobatical. Here also you can find a lot of jobs uh, which are available in European countries. And the other thing is uh, Job Seeker Visa. Job Seeker Visa is, I think, only available in Germany. Uh, what you have to do is you have to go to embassy and apply with all of the documents which are needed. Uh, you will get three months of chance to find a job in uh, Germany. You will have to travel to Germany on your expenses and you will have to start finding a job here. And then if you were able to get a job within that three months of duration, you can convert that into a long-term you know, visa and then you can stay here working forever. Uh, but the only problem is uh, you will have to invest some amount of money to travel and stay here and then you will have to burn a lot of energy finding a job being in Germany but um, that's kind of like difficult but there's always this option where a lot of people do try this option. Um, otherwise uh, the simple trick is you will have to give interview to Google or Amazon and then get selected there because what I've heard is um, Amazon or Google allows you to Pick one of European countries because most likely getting a European visa is a lot easier than US visa because it has to go through like either L1 or H1B. It's becoming a lot difficult these days, but European countries are always easier. Um, um, so you'll have to crack Google or Amazon. The other thing is consultancies, but I don't really trust them. But I also got some of the uh, you know job uh, requests from consultancies as well. I think it might work. I don't really know, but you can always try the chance. But don't ever pay upfront money to them. You might get scammed as well. But be aware of it. Um, so what else? I did apply to you know about 50 plus uh, job postings on Stack Overflow and then LinkedIn. I was able to get about 10 to 15 uh, replies uh, that whether they're going to you know schedule an interview or not as such. I think uh, I did clear a couple of interviews and I didn't because of some of the reasons, some of the crazy reasons, and some of the reasons they don't even mention. Um, I mean, it's all purely like I'm not really a master, but I do mistakes. So I did uh, fail in a couple of interviews, but I did pass in a couple of interviews and I had offers. So the usual interview process in Europe is um, simpler, actually. The interview difficulty level is a lot easier than Amazon or Google. Guys really don't worry about it. You just have to prepare the way you prepare for any Indian company or any company, basically. Uh, you just really don't need to prepare extra for finding a job abroad. Uh, I mean, it's, it's simpler, but sometimes, um, I mean, my experience, I failed a couple of interviews, but uh, they didn't give the reason or about why they rejected. Sometimes they did mention that, uh, that I, we have found uh, other candidate of, uh, you know, very suitable or very relevant experience than yours. Um, so they picked the other guys, but um, some I was able to get through and got uh, offers as well. Um, so it happens, like you will not clear all of the interviews, you will have your bad days, you will have your good days. So it's uh, the one thing I d just wanted to mention is you don't need to really um, get afraid, like I have to know everything to get a job in abroad. You just have to prepare just like how you prepare for any other company. So you know you don't need to expect the difficulty level of Amazon or Google, but it will be much simpler uh, if you're not targeting for Amazon, Google, and abroad. But yeah, so usual procedure is they will send you a assignment or hacker earth test or a codality test. So you will have to finish. Some are time bounded. Some are you know you will have about one to two days of time to finish the assignment and that and you will have to send those back and then they will review it and then they will come back and schedule interviews. Some of the startup interviews are much easier. Uh, I mean at least I felt it very easy. Uh, some of them were difficult. Some of them I was able to go to the last round. In the last round I mean I got rejected. I don't know the reasons really. There's something happen in, happening in Germany. I mean a lot of openings are opening up. Uh, if you see anywhere, there are so many openings opening up in Berlin. So if you guys are really interested to shift to Europe, try jobs in Berlin. There are so many companies. Uh, there are some. There are 
different reasons for that as well. Uh, Berlin is becoming startup capital um, because of so many reasons, because of you know living expenses, Brexit, a lot of reasons I don't really know, but uh, Berlin, you can find a lot of jobs. Uh, the next thing is Singapore, you can find a lot of jobs. You don't need to go through a lot of process. You just need to apply. So many companies are giving um, opportunities to guys who are applying from different countries. So do apply to Singapore as well. Berlin, and then I did get a lot of interviews from London. Um, but the thing is, they were not ready to sponsor Visa. We, I had you know, a couple of rounds, but in the end, they said that I can't really sponsor visa but I can give you a remote job if you're interested in but I really don't want it to sit at home alone then do the job but I so I said no I'm really, really looking for abroad and as such uh, and Sweden is one more place um, Stockholm Sweden there are a lot of startups which are looking for guys because the the number of engineers in Stockholm is a lot less I mean, this is what some of the interview were was telling me that there are very few engineers in um, you know Netherlands or Stockholm or Sweden. So they are trying to hire people from other countries. So there is opportunity there as well. You can try Sweden, uh, Stockholm. I did had an offer from Sweden. I couldn't take that offer, but I did refer one of my friend, and he got the offer, um, and he's moving there so it is happening that you will find jobs in Sweden and Berlin so the next thing is how you can find a job in Australia and Canada so if you are really good in English all you have to do is take IELTS or PT get score of 80% or 8 points above and then you have to apply and wait for some time hopefully you will get your uh, you know for visa most likely what I have seen is even if you apply for Australia and Canada from being in India they don't really entertain you guys because they want a candidate to be physically present in their country and then give interview I don't know what is that about um, but most likely finding a job in Canada and Australia being in India or any other country um, it's a little difficult, but if you're a guy from English speaking country, it is a lot easier to move to Australia or Canada and then, uh, you know, find a job because they are English speaking country. India is not English speaking country, so we will have to give either IELTS or PTE exams. IELTS, if you can clear, you can apply in Canada and Australia both. If you are clearing PTE, you can only apply in Australia. So once you have higher scores, it's always better for you guys to apply a job there. Um, I mean, if you get a visa, then most likely you guys can find a job going there. Uh, you, you will have to go there and then find a job there. So apart from that, coming to US, it is easy for the guys who are already working at some company and that company is ready to sponsor, but if you are if your company where you are working and I mean if if the company where you are working is not ready to sponsor visa it is you know highly impossible only thing is you will have to make your profile outstanding to get a job and then you'll have to convince some company there in US and then uh, they will have to apply H1B on behalf of you or your company can sponsor L1 visa that is more of a work visa you can't really change companies once you go to US so L1 is kind of like a bounded visa to that company so until your company is sponsoring that L1 visa you can stay there and work uh, H1B visa is totally different you can go there and then change company and do anything you want to no matter where you are applying um, job for here are some of the tips and tricks where um, which will actually help you guys to land a job easily so here are some of the tips which will actually help you so first one is make your profile outstanding there will be like, so many people who are basically applying for the same position and if the if the HR wants if the HR 
and if the HR wants to pick some of the profiles among so many, then your profile should be outstanding. Some of the uh, simplest way to make your profile look outstanding is obviously abundant, rich, and experience or you know knowledge about your domain. And the next one is um, maybe you can give some tech talks and re have a reference to those tech talks in your resume. That also kind of helps. Or you know mention your blogs or GitHub where you have um, contributed a lot. And the next thing is uh, you can actually uh, you know teach just like me like on YouTube. So that also kind of helps. Definitely, my YouTube channel has helped me a lot uh, when it comes to interviews and everything. So the next thing is having a neat uh, CV and having a customized customized CV as well. So if you are applying for a specific position, maybe tweak your resume which is which looks more relevant to that position and don't have verbose uh, resume, have one or one and a half page kind of resume. Uh, I mean that should be enough uh, to explain whatever you have done. So have a simple and cute resume uh, that would help you as well. And uh, one more thing is having a nice cover letter. Um, Usually we don't follow in India, but uh, most of the European countries expect you to send a CV, uh, you know, cover letter along with a CV. So have a simple um, cover letter. You can find a lot of templates in the internet. So prepare a nice um, cover letter, explain your motivation, explain about what inspires you and why you want to join that company and how that position is relevant to you. Uh, these are the main points you need to cover in the cover letter and uh, write it specifically to that HR. You need to edit this uh, cover letter uh, for every position uh, you're going to apply. Don't have one cover letter or one CV and you you know upload it to all of the position. Have, have like, um, customize it and then apply for the position. That's kind of really helps you. And the next thing is the LinkedIn profile. Have your LinkedIn profile complete with all of the work experience you have because a lot of companies here do respect um, the information which is there in link LinkedIn. Some of the things are recommendation, ask some of your managers or some of the people you know to write a recommendation uh, for you. Um, that actually helps you as well and also do get endorsed um, of the skills which you are really good in. That also helps you. Uh, the next thing is referrals. Referrals are very important. Even if you are applying for some position, um, uh, you know, try to get a person who is, work, try to contact a person who is already working in that company. If that, that might be your friend or friend of a friend, uh, it always helps you, you know, because here people trust um, referrals more than, uh, you know, direct um, applicants. So try to find, a, uh, you know, referral and then apply for it. Um, so one thing you can do is you can find some of the people on LinkedIn, but don't directly message them. Maybe send a mail, request them to refer you. Uh, that might work as well. I think if you concentrate on all of these four to five points which I mentioned, I think that should be enough. The very important thing is obviously how you have prepared for the interview, um, and rest is mostly luck. Um, so you will have to just wait until your HR, you know, HR comes back. Um, uh, either they will either tell you whether they're going to sponsor. If they are sponsoring, they might uh, schedule an interview. But some uh, replies that we are not uh, going to sponsor to this position as such. So anyway, um, all the best for you guys. Um, so one thing I want to tell you is, um, so the turnaround ratio is very less because if you apply for 100 profiles, you might only get reply from 20 companies and out of which only you might get five interviews only. So keep applying, um, you will definitely get interviews and then if you're really good enough, you will definitely get in and you will find a job abroad. And I think I have covered all of the information and my experience. If this, is, if this video is really helpful for you, uh, do comment and like. Thanks a lot.